The camera is a little high, but it's the best I could do. Hi guys, Top Hops here, and today I'm in front of GameStop because they called me a little bit ago to let me know that a bunch of pre-orders arrived. And I did also see something on Instagram about a brand new skate deck releasing, and it could possibly already be at GameStop, so I'm pretty excited to see if they have it. And if you guys don't know which one I'm talking about, I'm looking for a photo. Ah, it's this one here, the turtle one, and it kind of looks like a pizza box. It's pretty sick. And so if they have it today, I am definitely going to be picking it up. And oh, they also let me know that one of my pre-orders came in as a chase and they didn't tell me which one it was. So this should be pretty interesting. Oh, this roof, I wish it was taller. And now before I find out what pre-orders I've got, I do have to check the back to see if there's anything new. And over in the sales section, there might be some new ones over here actually, like this one down here, the Cobra Fang. Maybe it's on sale. Actually, was it? Maybe it was always 30, I might be going crazy. Then they've also got Ultraman over here as well as Whitney Houston who I still need for my Icons collection so that could be a good one to get today for only like $8.99. And then as I keep going over, they've got some like the advent calendars down here, a bunch of the Iron Man ones which I do already have but it's cool to see. Oh and one that's been here for a little while is the Masters of the Universe bundle which is a pretty cool one. The problem is I just don't really care for the pop but the t-shirt I gotta say looks amazing in here. And then they've got like Zuckus as well as a bunch of Goku driving exam, the weapon, but honestly there's not much back here that I'm looking for still. So let's just go grab the pre-orders. And now since we're here, I always have to check the U2s and it looks like a lot of the same ones that we see pretty much every time, but it's always good to check. Oh shoot, I didn't know this was out already, guys. Apparently they have Funko Snaps here. I've never seen these in person. And if you guys have never seen these before, it's a bit of a diorama and then you can display the masks in the back, kind of creepy. Oh, and then down at the bottom here, they also have the Freddy and Springtrap. I gotta get something. And actually guys, now that I'm looking at it, it seems like they have the entire collection of them because they also have Bonnie as well as Fox and then those two back there. I think the only one they're missing is the Golden Freddy with stage. Alrighty, everybody, we're back in the car. And for anybody wondering, yes, I did end up getting this. We'll take a bit of a closer look when we get back to the office. I just thought I'd let you guys know because I was debating on it and then I was like, I gotta get at least one. And so I figured I'd go with the storage room and then if I like it, maybe I'll get another one. And if you guys wanna see it, let me know. Oh, and then also a bunch of my friends started playing Splatoon. So I ended up grabbing Splatoon 3 and then I saw they had a bunch of the Amiibos and you guys know I like the collectibles, so I ended up getting the Inkling Squid. And so anyways, we're not going to be showing off everything in the car. Let's go back to the office. As soon as I got home, I was greeted with this pretty massive package of figures that I ordered off of Whatnot recently, and we're going to be opening up this today as well, because I cannot wait to see what's inside. Well, hold on. I know what's inside, but you guys don't. I want to show it off today. But before we do that, we of course have to get into what I got over at GameStop because it's some pretty exciting stuff. And so as you guys can probably see, the two pops that I ended up picking up today were ones from Obi-Wan. I got Darth Vader, the GameStop exclusive, which I did not have in the collection yet. And if I'm gonna be honest, it's really not that different compared to the other ones. So I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping both of them in the collection, but I definitely wanted to get the exclusive because it's him kind of like in this attack stance. It's pretty neat. Like he's got his lightsaber back to the side and then he also has his fist kind of clenched. I really enjoy it. Tristan, don't you already have Kalon? Well, I actually picked up some a little while ago in my video where I bought every single figure over at Hot Topic. So you're not wrong, I did have them at one point, but in that video I gave away every single one of them, so now this is the only one that I've got. And then for the Splatoon stuff, you guys saw I got the game as well as the figure I showed it off in the car, but what I didn't tell you guys is something I just found out about it, is that you actually get some gear for the game with this guy. And if you take a look on the back, I believe you get an entirely exclusive suit. That's pretty sick. And then this bad boy over here is the Marvel Christmas edition of Something Wild and the reason that I wanted to get it was because of the tiny little Groot figure and also I got one of these games a little while ago and I believe you can put them together to like combine yes it says combine this game with any other Marvel Something Wild Ooh, I have the Mickey one all right so I might not be able to combine the two together but I still wanted the Groot figure so it doesn't really matter and now everybody let's get into the brand new Funko Snap and on the back side here I did want to show you guys because I think I talked about it but didn't really show it off too well we're inside of the storage room you can actually put all of the faces on the back wall. And something that I really enjoy about this line is that Funko's treating it more of like a toy rather than a collectible. Like they even made commercials for them and I don't know if they're on TV. If you guys have seen them, let me know. And so now guys, I guess let's get into this thing to find out what it's looking like. And I believe the side opens up. Okay, yeah, it does. Alrighty, so I've got it out and I gotta say this is a lot bigger than I expected. And if you guys wanna check out those faces on the back, they're pretty creepy. Okay, so I've got all the pieces out and I wanna see how these things actually snap together before we move on. And it looks like Oh, that's pretty satisfying. And then you can snap the top. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And then it looks like there are two different faces that you can put on here and it makes them way less creepy when you do. Yeah, okay, that seems like a bit of a normal Chica if you guys wanna check it out. That is uh, pretty decent. 
And now the last thing that I want to try here, guys, is actually putting a mask on the back wall because it's got the yellow or Chica has pink eyes. So let's go with this one here. Yeah, you could just put the mask right there. Ooh, that is uh, kind of weird. Oh, and you know what? Now that I think about it, I never even told you guys what chase I was able to get today. It was this one here, the glow-in-the-dark Black Adam. I pre-ordered one of them and it happened to come in. And it's actually pretty funny that I got this one because a little while ago I was looking for it. I believe it was over at Mastermind Toys and they didn't have them at all. So it's cool that I was able to get one today. Alrighty, now let's get into the package. And I wanna let you guys know that I ordered all of this stuff from Savage Pops, and then when I did, he said he was gonna throw in some extra stuff for you guys, so uh, we'll see what that is. Alrighty, so it looks like there is two things in here that he wanted me to give away, and I don't think we're gonna be doing it today. I wanna save them for something a little bit bigger because they do seem uh, kinda crazy. With the first thing here being a soda, and this one here is actually Hatsune Miku. Oh, it's the SDCC exclusive sticker. Okay, we gotta check this out. Okay, now it looks like the soda has been opened, so let's Let's find out which one it is. Oh, wow. Okay, Savage Pops, you definitely did not have to send this over, but it is the Chase one. Check this out, guys. The glitter on it, that's pretty amazing. And now, funny enough, guys, this is one that I don't even have in my collection yet, so you guys are gonna be getting it before I do. And then it looks like the other figure that he sent over to give away is, oh, shoot, this is another one that I need for my collection. It is the Hall H. Freddy, limited to 6,800 pieces. I mean, wow, guys, this thing is amazing. And also, if you don't know what Hall H is, it's actually a hall at San Diego Comic-Con where all of the panels happen, and Funko had one this year, and then they gave these out to everybody that attended. And I wasn't gonna be there on Sunday, and I didn't know about this panel till, like, Saturday, so I couldn't change my trip at all, and I wasn't able to get one of these guys. So, Savage Pop, seriously, thank you so much. And if you guys have any ideas on how you want me to give them away, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay, now let's get into the stuff that I ordered from him, which was actually only one thing, but then he threw in something else that I needed as well. And the one that I bought was this figure here, guys, the Turtle Freddy Funko. If you guys are unaware, this is actually one that came up for the NFTs a little while ago, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones, of course. I mean, it's pretty obvious because it is him dressed up as a turtle. And so what had happened was I bought a couple of them from this drop, but wasn't able to get enough to actually get the Freddy Funko. So I figured let's just order it on whatnot. And it seriously looks amazing in person. Like right off the bat, guys, the box looks perfect. Then if you guys want to check out what the digital NFT would have looked like, here it is. It's Freddy Funko wearing a golden bandana as well as a golden hat. I mean, it's pretty obvious but then he's also dressed up like he really enjoys the turtles. It's one of my favorites they've done so far. Oh, and you know what? Now that I think about it, I did just recently get the turtle SpongeBob. Now I've got the turtle Freddy. I just keep getting turtle stuff. This one here was also limited to 2,160 pieces. Kind of a weird number, but I enjoy that about the figure. And now really quickly, I do want to pop it out of the box because, oh my gosh. Oh, he's also got a shell on the back. Very similar to the SpongeBob. I had no clue that was there. And so, I mean, seriously, guys, this is just such a crazy, figure to have in the collection. I'm so glad I was able to get it. And then like I said, guys, he did throw in one more thing for me. And this was actually something from Funcon that I wasn't able to pick up for myself. And he was like, hey, do you need one? And just threw it in. So very, very kind of him. And if you guys want to check it out, it is my first ever three liter soda in the collection. You guys, of course, know sodas. We open them up on the channel all the time. But then just recently, Funko decided to make three liter ones where the figures inside are seven inches tall. And so before I get into this, if you guys want to check out what it's looking like, there is the Iron Giant on on the front and then when you flip it around it's got what the soda looks like and then oh I'm just noticing this it looks like there's a sticker on top of a sticker I had heard something about Funko doing that because they wanted to put the con sticker on and not the shared one so if you look closely there should be two there and so now let's try to crack into this and I heard that there's a way to do it where you like squeeze each side and then it should open up let me see if I can do it there we go not too shabby and so I believe all I do is just pull this out yeah oh my gosh and now I knew that this this one was the common one when he sent it over, but still, this thing looks amazing in person. And so everybody, here is the seven inch Iron Giant soda. And if you guys didn't know, the chase is actually him holding the car. It's seriously a crazy one. Oh, and one more thing before we get out of here, I wanna show you guys how big the three liter pogs are compared to a normal one. So let me see if I can cut into this without wrecking it. And check this out, guys. Yeah, oh my gosh, this thing is massive. So you can see, there is the Iron Giant on one side, and then it says, three liter soda, the Iron Giant, limited to one out of 5,000. 450. Again, a bit of a weird number. And now I grabbed a normal can so I could show you guys the difference in sizes here because it really is crazy. So let me show you. Okay, here's a pog down here. Perfect. 
so this is a normal size one when this one is the three liter like look at the difference on these things and so anyways guys there you go that is everything for today and if you want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like come subscribe do all that but this has been upside top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow